Hey guys, what's up? It's Ben, and we're back again with another vlog. Something a bit different this time. So, on Instagram, I asked you guys to send me pictures of your cars, and I'll rate them and check them on the vlog. So, it should be a pretty interesting video. I got about, uh, well, we got exactly 17 cars that you guys sent in. A nice, cool mix of European, uh, JDM. Self isolation has been pretty interesting. I've been getting out of the house a fair bit. Um, in fact, my next video will be really cool. Um, it'll be me going around outdoors and telling a cool story from uh, <laughs> an interesting story so keep an eye out for that one. I'm also going to check the Instagrams of these guys in the video so go give them a follow if you like their build. Um, most of them are really really cool guys. Well, most of them, <laughs> people, the ones that I know are really really cool guys. So yeah, check it out and let's get right into it. I got some notes on my phone as well because I can't remember all this shit. You guys sent me all the mods and everything so. So number one, Jay's Wicked Bags of Volvo. Uh, we did a shoot of this a few months ago and it went really well, got a lot of attention online. Uh, got on Stance Nation, AccuAir I think, or Airlift's Instagram. Amazing car. And I shot this, uh, these photos with the Proto, Pro Photo B1 strobe. I mean it's like five grand but it's fucking incredible. Like if any of you had the chance to rent it, I think it was like $80 to rent and it's beautiful. But anyway, this car. Uh, 1982 Volvo 244 GLE, quite a mouthful. It's on uh, BBS RS rims, adjustable struts with the airbag conversion from the boys over at Auto Stance. Engine bay is being completely gutted out. Those rims are just beautiful. The color combo, those classic BBS rims, I fucking love classic BBS rims. They're just beautiful. If I get an RX-7, it's going on BBS for sure. Number two, we have Benjamin's 370Z. This thing is the cleanest fucking like he has like the chill maintain the curve style you know not over the top just sort of like OEM plus sort of stance boy really nice look going yeah this thing sounds insane I've seen it spit massive flames um it's definitely faster than my car I'm pretty sure um and yeah Ben's a good guy I've known him for a while got a 6z um only thing about it that shit is that it isn't manual so he's a little bitch we got some long tube intakes like my car. We got some test pipes. Got a cat back exhaust, both in Nvidia. Uh, it's got some sick coil wheels on it. Got some BC Gold coilovers. Uh, the whole thing's wrapped. Oh, one more thing to roast about you about this wrap, bro. You got a silver car, which is already the shittest color, and you wrapped it in a gray. I mean, gray's good, but like, if you're gonna wrap it, like, come on. Man. <laughs> Next up, number three, we have Grant's insane 2J wide body Alteza. This thing is fucking crazy. I think it's running like six or seven hundred horsepower now. Correct me if I'm wrong, bro. Oh no, no, 500. He just got 500 kilowatts, so whatever the fuck that is. Um, and it feels insane. I'll actually chuck up uh, some photos of him doing like this huge burnout as well. Fucking crazy. Um, but yeah, this thing's beautiful. So I got some. Uh, info up on the screen here about it. Um, so it's brand new 2JZ GTE short block, rebuilt 2JZ GTE head, oversized cams, got a 3.5 inch straight pipe exhaust, and you know, he's got all the shit that you need when you're making that much power, like, you know, big Willwood um, brakes at the top, he's got like a better gearbox, the R154, no fucking clue what that means, <laughs> and uh, it's all powered by like a Link ECU, which is fucking sick, and this car, like, let me just tell you, like, you need to go for a drive in it to experience it. You know, it's, it's, I don't think it's unreasonable to say that it's uh, function over form. Um, it's still a sick looking car, like, I love the wide body. Looks way better than normal Altezas, looks pretty aggressive. Um, but yeah, just fucking sick car, bro. Number four, we have 13 Nissan with his fucking perfect S13 um, over in Sydney. So when we went over to Sydney last year to run the turnout event over there uh, and to film some cars, we met up with 13 Nissan, some of his bros. I believe they're in 
the Turnout Sydney video on my YouTube channel, so you can check his car out there. Um, but just sick build, it's come such a long way. Uh, he got it when it was completely stock, I believe, and he's just made it the cleanest stance boy. Fucking just super clean build. Um, he's also just recently just put a turbo on it, which is fucking sick. So, yeah, it fucking goes now. Um, although I still believe he's fixing some things up, but got some info about it here. He's got an R32 GTR wing on the back, which I fucking love. That's probably one of my favorite wings ever. Uh, R32 GTR grill. He's got the K-Mac full aero kit. Uh, got a few S15 skirt lip extensions and rear pod lip extensions. I don't know too much about Sylvia's, uh, but they're sitting on some Kensai KNP wheels and BC coilovers, all the adjustable arms, all the shit you need for that mean camber. Uh, looks like he's got some bride seats, Sparco steering wheel, all that good JDM shit. So, And obviously the engine is a uh, SR20 DET and a 2871 Mamba Turbo. So. Yeah, I can't wait to see it again in person, bro. You gotta take me for a boost. It's gonna be mean. Uh, I should be back in Sydney soon. And here we got big boy number five, Lowell Kia, aka Ben, also. Um, yeah, this car is fucking sick and it's about to be a whole lot better. So, he's got the new Kia Stinger GT and these things actually, they fucking rip. They fucking rip. Apparently they're a lot lighter than they look and I think his is up to like 500 horse maybe now. Uh, so it's got a stage one tune, exhaust, lowering springs, some stance SF01 wheels. Uh, he's got some air intakes, he's got upgraded blower valve, intercooler, slotted and drilled brakes and he's chrome deleted the whole thing and he recently just chucked in a like carbon steering wheel which looks fucking sick and his plans for it i'm pretty sure he said this i'll double check with him before i post this vlog but he's um wide bodying it upgrading the turbos to like 700 horsepower or something and bagging it on some like custom wheels which is going to be fucking insane i cannot wait i'm pretty sure we're doing the video drop for that so like the the full release before anyone else sees it, we'll do a sick video for it and give it a proper uh, proper premiere into the world. But that's like huge fucking sending it points like right there bro, like fuck, no one, it, it takes a lot of balls to do that, to put that much into a car and um, but you know I've seen them in person, the wide body bags, Kia Stingers, uh, we shot one in LA, just incredible, they look so nice, like the nicest sedans, that, one of the nicest sedans ever I think. And up at number six, we have my boy Cam Jam. You know he was gonna be in this. Uh, everyone knows Campbell. He's got the wide body now turbo Rocket Bunny V3 GT86 uh, automatic. So you know, say what you will. But this cunt's got fucking everything. I, I, I'm not. I don't even want to. So it's got a full Panem kit, paint, upgraded brakes, coilovers. Dumb cunt didn't even write what kind of wheels he had, but I know that there's some kind of works. I'm not good with model names, so. But yeah, he got some sick wheels on there. He needs to bag it. That'll make it a 10 out of 10 car for me, honestly. And he recently got a turbo, and he's pushing. Well, he's gonna be pushing a lot of power soon. So, cannot wait to see it, bro. And as soon as we get out of this isolation, I'm gonna be shooting that shit ASAP. Because uh, it looks sick. He's got the new carbon fiber hood on it as well. And yeah, just fucking super clean build. Like the amount of time, money, and love that's gone into that is just like next level. And he just, he never stops. He's never gonna stop. He's just keep on going. <laughs> keep on modding. I don't know what he's gonna do next. Who knows? Here we got a Beanstalk PV on Instagram with his 1972 Mini Clubman. That is sick. What is it? It's a 1.275 litre bought out to a 1.4 litre with lumpy carb. Oh, sick. That's fucking main. Oh, hot cam, whatever that means. A head port, polished, um, all that shit. So, it's, you know, engine's been built up. Uh, it's got some big brakes. Yeah, it's just a really fucking sick old school mini, man. Like, that it looks fucking mean. And I bet that weighs nothing, so it probably goes pretty well. Look at that interior. That is fucking, that's fucking wicked. So, yeah, nice little build, bro. Here we have uh, Jacker's E36 BMW 325i with a bit of exterior mods. He said there's no engine work on it, but you know, these things are expensive enough to keep stock, I've heard. 
So you got some E39 M5 rims painted white. Those look really nice. I like the contrast against the green. Uh, he's got some pretty cool window tints. Pretty dark there. He's got some M3 bits, uh, M3 mirrors. He's got a diff. He's got an exhaust. He's got shocks and springs, and he's got a nice little wing on there as well. So yeah, nice clean build, bro. Number nine, we've got GTR underscore Gains on Instagram. Uh, sick R32 GTR, super clean, pretty like OEM plus looking. Um, in fact, it might even be, I'm pretty sure it's just OEM body. But it's running 400 kilowatts through a stock RB26. Borgwana EFR8374, 60mm turbo smart gate. Um, that's fucking sick, like I've been in a, what have I been in? I've been in a 600 kilowatt R32 I believe. And it's fucking mental, so I'm sure even 400, like, that'd be really, really fun to drive, bro. And really clean looking, so nice one. Alright, number 10, we've got Dory Photography. 1990 Mitsubishi Diamante 30RSE SE four wheel drive pre production car. Uh, no fucking clue what this thing is, to be honest, but it's got the 3 litre V6 from the GTO, which is a really good engine. Not reliable, but I think it can uh, go pretty well. It's got four wheel drive, four wheel steering, and apparently it was one of the first cars with traction control. That's pretty cool. Although I don't know why you need traction control, that's just boring. Alright, number 11, we've got a 1998 Nissan C34 Stagia swapped with an RB25 Dirt, that's sick. It's also been swapped out for a turbo, Campbell. Top mount turbo, Greedy FFP, full 3 inch custom exhaust, adjustable suspension, and 17 inch Lenzo wheels. I really like the stance he's got going on here, he's got some nice stance, got some nice wheels. And yeah, that's just a, that looks like a sick fucking fun wagon to drive. You could fit a bunch of boys in there and have a lot of fun. <laughs> Alright, up at number 12 we have Harvey Cregan's 2000 BMW 330CI. So it's got a tune and it's got a full stainless exhaust. That's pretty clean bro. Got some nice photos here of it. We hired a, I believe it was a, either a 330 or a 328 when we went to LA and those things move pretty well. Um, really fun to drive actually, lots of torque so yeah. Clean build broken to see what you do with it. Number 13 we have Leo Batger. 1995 328i, factory 5 street manual, and factory M-Sport. And it's got a fuck ton of mods, it's got a full wide body kit, Fitment Lab UK, uh, AC Schnitzer style 3 piece wheels, that look really cool, very unique looking style wheel. And some bright seats, BC coilovers, intake, OMP steering wheel, short shifter kit, full exhaust. Yeah, this thing looks like it's fucking decked out bro, and it looks really clean, nice, stancy, old school Euro. Fucking love it bro. Number 14, we have Cam Nicholson, 2007 Legacy GTB Subaru, 6-speed manual, good to see mate, good to see. Recent full paint correction detail and ceramic coat, great idea. Ceramic coatings, I actually haven't had one on my car before, but I've heard that they are the fucking best. And this thing looks really clean bro, it looks really really nice. Stance on some nice wheels. I used to have a 2002 Subaru B4 with the three yeah with a three liter h6 engine and that thing was fun to drive uh super comfortable as well you know sabaro i like the sabaros they're like comfortable and really fun to drive not super powerful like you know you have to dump a bit of money in them to make them over 400 horsepower but fucking really fun cars to drive all right number 15 we have a fucking sick rx7 i love rx7s you guys know that uh fd underscore e chan on instagram I fucking love the colour of this RX-7, I love the hood, I love the wheels, so it's lowered on Cusco's, Meister to reps, all around a Mazda speed body kit, and a straight pipe exhaust. I love the hood, I fucking love the hood. I think it could be stance a bit better, although that's hard to do with RX-7s, I understand, and love the wing as well. Again, I would suggest like a tint, I think that would make it look a lot cleaner. Yeah, fix the stance, but yeah, no, no, it's fucking sick. Oh, and it's 250 kilowatts of the wheels, so you can't really complain. <laughs> that thing would fucking go. Um, so yeah, sick build bro, love the colour of it, and can't wait to see what you do more of it. Number 16 we have one of the fucking sickest wagons I've seen in a while, S-L-Y-W-G-N on Instagram. It's a 98 Nissan Stagia RSV with an RB25 debt, 320 kilowatts at the wheels, manual, some sick wheels, I like the wing on it as well. Uh, he's got intakes, manifold, ATR45 sat turbo. Injectors, head studs, head gasket, all that shit, and sitting on some SSR Koenigs 18 by 9.5. So yeah, that's a fucking, that's a fucking sick wagon, bro. I love it. 
All these photos on the screen now are the ones that I took and that's because I fucking love this cunt. I take photos of this car all the time, as much as I can, because um, I love him. He's the, I'd say he's the nicest fucking car dude I've met ever in my whole life. Everyone knows he's a fucking good cunt. Um, and he's got not one, but two RX-7s. Um, I like this one a bit more. I prefer the white. I love the wheels and I love that it's single turbo. I got to drive this car a while ago and it's so much fun. It's only on wastegate pressure, I believe. Sorry if I'm wrong, Eric. It's, it's pushing 300 something horsepower, um, but yeah, it feels like so much more. Like I remember when I got in the car for the first time, got to drive it, I took it for a quick boost, uh, put my foot down, and I was like, that must be 400, 450 horsepower. But those cars are so light, um, they just fucking go. And he's done so much to this. He's got the SA bumper, wing, lips, feed side skirts and rear diffuser. Done a bunch of cooling shit. He's got the full V-mount intercooler, uh, V-mount radiator and intercooler setup. Uh, he's got a link plug-in ECU. He's got a, I'm gonna fuck up this fucking pronunciation so bad. Ditch, ditch, ditch works. Ditch works fuel pump injectors, all that good shit, all AN fittings. He works on his cars himself, he's like a rotary lord. Um, he's had what? I think you've had 20? 20, 20 rotaries, something like that, Eric, right? And he makes some beautiful builds, so respect bro. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, um, let me know down below. And if you haven't subscribed, fucking subscribe count. But yeah, it's something a bit different. I quite enjoyed doing this actually. Thanks to everyone that sends in your cars. Go and follow them on Instagram if you like their builds. And if we get some more, send me your cars on Instagram. My Instagram is Ben, B E I N N. And I will do another one soon if you guys send me some good builds. So yeah, take care, enjoy isolation, stay safe, get out, exercise. Get some shit done, don't just play CSGO <laughs> for six hours today like I did <laughs> and put off work, but hey, it's night time now, it's 9.30pm, I'm still vlogging, still going hard, so take care boys and I'll see you next time.